Okay guys, well, now the next topic is the kick drum or bass drum. That is very important for popular music. And well, let's hear a little example. There we go. This is a well recorded kick drum. Uh, let's analyze this signal. As we can see, we have a lot of energy, and I think we expected that. A lot of energy in low frequencies, and some in the, in the mid frequencies, very little in high frequencies. Well, there's, um, there are uh, some kind of magic frequencies for kick drums, which usually work pretty well. So the first one is to try to get rid about this zone between 200 and 500. Let me try it. I'm going to start with this filter. Make sweep. You know the, the old story is the same. This thing. You hear this? This kind of boxy sound. That's something we don't want and many many times the, the bass drum has a lot of energy here so we have to take it out a little bit in, in this case it, it's not really necessary but I'm doing it anyway okay then the next point uh, could be uh, this area between well I mean around two two kilohertz which is the attack of the sound let me try it here with another as you can see I'm using only parametrics that's the best tool for for the job so uh, more and then we go we are looking for the click what's the the, the, the click sound well it depends on what you want I think I like around this place. Now I've found it. Now I'm going to change this a little bit. This area is important in a kick drum because it helps to to define the the beat more clearly. Uh, many people believe kick drums are only bass sound, but the 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 mid hikes are very important for rhythm. Mainly, if we are talking about a fast rhythm, then you uh, better uh, get sure that your mid hikes are well defined. It's the definition of the of the kick. And finally, probably we don't need bass because the the kick drum by itself it's uh, has a lot of low frequency. But if you want to emphasize, then I recommend you to go for the, the punch and let me let me try something here in the area from 100 to 200 Hertz you may found this boomy sound you hear that in this case for this drum is around a hundred so you have to be very careful there but look around 60 there you go. Huge difference, huh? Well, so um, that would be uh, the basic uh, equalization for a kick drum. We have to get rid of the low mids, which uh, does, they don't sound nice at all. Then maybe you would need some mid highs for definition and if it's necessary you could go for uh, around 60 70 for punch and most of the time i mean uh, th this is kind of aggressive equalization you, you see it 12 db it's a lot it was just an example actually for this case maybe 3 4 db would be more than enough